Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some NBA with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. What's going on, guys? Now, as you guys have probably heard over the last couple of days, uh, it's been reported by many news outlets that uh, Amari Stoudemire, six-time All-Star, has announced his retirement from the game of basketball at the age of 33. Very premature, but the injury slowed him down, and uh, really his, his, his game in his prime was based on his athleticism. And he really, after, after well, once the injury took its course around like 2010, you know, he really became a, sh a shell of who he once was, and you know, and his stops in Dallas and Miami. So, um, you know, what, what, this, what this video is going to be about is going to be about just you know, Amari Stoudemire's legacy, why I see him in the game of basketball, where um, I how I think he should be remembered. Uh, now, keep in mind when we talk about Amari Stoudemire, we're talking about. Um, you know, a guy in the power forward, a man with the skill set in the power forward's body, um, with the athletic ability, with the finesse, with the skill set. You know, we haven't seen an athletic force at the power forward position like Amari Stoudemire since possibly the days of Carl Malone. The guy, really, if you go back, you know, that might sound crazy to say that we haven't we haven't seen a guy. With the athletic ability of a Carl Malone, with, with the athletic ability of a Mario Stoudemire at the power forward position, since Carl Malone, but you know, just understand that um, you got to go back and watch him, kind of 2004, 2005, even up until 2009, 2010, because Amari could, could could get up there, and he was a very um, explosive player, but more than more more than just an explosive athlete, you know, a guy that over the course of his career extended his range from. 12 feet to 13 feet to 15 feet to 17 feet. The guy had great footwork, had a good face-up game, and um, you know him and Steve Nash, you know pick and roll. That's probably the closest thing we were ever going to see to you know John Stockton and Carl Malone. You know, obviously I, I made the comparison to, from a, uh, with with Amari to Carl Malone as far as you know the athleticism, but you I mean Steve Nash and John Stockton very similar as well. Great pick and roll passers, great pocket passers that were able to set the big men up for a lot of easy baskets. So with that being said, man, um, you know, Amari, it sucks that he didn't get a chance to uh, realize, completely realize the player um, that he that, 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 that he could have been because of, due to the injuries, but, um, you know, he, he anchored one of the most exciting teams of the 2000s, you know, those mid to late Phoenix Suns teams in the 2000s with him and Steve Nash and Boris Diaw and Leandro Barbosa and Roger Bell and you know uh, Quentin Richardson, Joe Johnson, you know, just the list goes on and on. They had a lot of Sean Marion, you know, a lot, lot of lot of talent on those teams. It sucks that they never even got a chance to play in the finals. I wish that's my one thing with the Suns that I wish they would have got a chance to be in the finals and you know a lot of that too is is, is is ownership there. You know they didn't want to spend money on certain guys. Yeah, I know that. I know they, they didn't want to pay Joe Johnson, so he prematurely left and went to the Atlanta Hawks in 2005 before he even became an All Star. But I mean, they had a they had a squad there in Phoenix, and Amari was at the forefront of all that. Um, you know, I mean, I know he retired as a Nick, which is kind of corny, but um, you know he's a he's a Phoenix son, and you know. I have yet to see the. I, the, the I've, I've, I've seen very. I haven't seen many duo, duos with the chemistry that surpassed, you know, Steve Nash and Mario Sotomayor. That was one of the best, you know, duos I, I, I've seen since I've been watching basketball, um, my 21 years on this earth. So um, you know, he had a great career. Uh, looked like he, it honestly looked like he was going to become a first battle Hall of Famer um, in the middle of his career when he was in his prime. Um, you know, and then be, being as great as he was in the mid 2000s, you know, you had Tim Duncan. Um, in his prime, Dirk Nowitzki playing at an MVP level. You had Kevin Garnett still in his prime. You had Elton Brand in his prime. Uh, to be a power forward and even be considered among the top five power forwards in the game at that particular time is no small accomplishment. And you can make the you can make the argument that at one point in time, Amari might have been number one or number two best power forward in the league. You know, somewhere between 2005 and you know, or 2006 and 2009, 10ish. Um, you could you could have made that argument. And even in the stint in New York, the, for that first year in New York, um, he had, you know, really burst onto the scene and, and made the New York Knicks relevant again. And uh, just a, a guy that was definitely a, 
when I think of Amari Stoudemire, I'm, 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 I'm going to think of him being a an explosive pick and roll player and someone who uh, was a difference maker no matter where he played, whether it be in Phoenix or uh, in New York. When he got to Dallas, Miami, he was a shell of himself and, and, and nothing more than a, a good, savvy veteran or, or a role player. So, um, you know, it, it was a great career. I, it sucked with the injuries, but, um, you know, I'm 33 years old, retired, he retires the same year as Tim Duncan. Who would have thought that? But uh, for Brendan Taylor, True School Sports, I'm wishing Amari Stoudemire, you know, uh, congratulating, congratulating Amari on a great career. Um, I really enjoyed watching him play. And um, I wish the injuries with him had never happened. I, I would have loved to see if he could have became, you know, maybe even the best player in the league. Because he had, he had that kind of potential. But um, let me know what you guys think about Amari Stoudemire and his career. Uh, what, are your, what are your favorite moments? Um, Phoenix, New York, you know, Miami, Dallas. Just, yeah, leave anything regarding his retirement down below in the comments. Take the time to subscribe. And you can love me or you can hate me. But I'm just a kid from Dania. So until next time, take care, guys.